welcome back to the programme and in fact welcome to our guest this week uh, our new favourite band fitness club fiasco if you've not come across them yet here's a taste of the single It feels like we've been playing this CDR for about four months or something now. Uh, but the singles, when it's out next week, finally out next week. Is it, is it next week or the week after? Next I've lost week. track. Next yeah, week. My next my week. Do you have any physical copies of it so far? Have you, have you got like a? Have you been handed the CDs or anything yet? We have been handed a uh, few of the CDs. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, Was yeah, it exciting on the download? Right. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I remember when I first got when I first got issues back, um, first printed copies of the first fanzine I ever wrote. I just literally opened the box, took a few out, and just stared at them because it's yeah. that exciting when you finally find when you finally made something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the artwork, you know, yeah. open up, it's got your name on it, all like how you imagined it. There yeah. it is, all yeah. printed up. Uh, we should. I tell you what, we should we should do some history uh, because how do you meet? Where do you all come from? Okay, that's a good question. Um, I used to live in Canada, and two days before coming to Bristol, I had no idea where I was going to be staying, and I just picked Bristol at random. Let's just, let's just spin back there a second. Yeah. You used to live in Canada two days before going, why Bristol? Um, I don't have many reasons, other than I was going to do a bit of teaching. Right. And uh, so Bristol was one of the options I was right. given of all the cities in the UK, so there's quite a few, and I just thought, oh, right. Bristol. And uh, I just looked at a map and I saw it's close to water and it's close to Cardiff and that seems like a nice area. Right. I knew nothing though. I knew nothing about it. So. Could you not even like gone on the internet and looked and thought, hmm, Google, uh, what's what, <laughs> Bristol, Manchester? Why I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I seriously, yeah. I just, I guess I didn't think. I'm not really a, a good, that well of a planned out person. I don't really. Sometimes I don't think things through too right. much. So. But it seems like everything's fallen into place well, in my what, favor. Whatever so. happens, can I just say? Don't let this man sign the contract on you. <laughs> so, well, I was just thinking, Sony or this bloke who lives yeah, yeah, next down door. The street. Yeah, yeah. Could do either. He just bought me a beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seems quite nice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Says he can get us on. Uh, says he can get us a gig down the road. Yeah. yeah. Reckons we'll be playing Wembley in two years' time. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. You go okay. to so you arrive at so Bristol. Bristol. And uh, my friend, I told my friend two days before, I have no place to stay. And he said, oh, I know, uh, some of my best friends live in Bristol, I'll, I'll, right. uh, I'll call them up and say, can you uh, discreetly ask them uh, that I'd like to see if they can uh, house me for a couple of weeks Right. my final place? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. And I said, but pretend I didn't ask. Right. And he did, and they said yes. And two days later, um, Jess, who sings the band, picked me up in the center and gave me a ticket to meet Sparky. Right. Here, so, uh, and then I slept on in Mark's studio the first night, so... Um, and subsequently just, for about three months after that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you didn't actually have to go around sort of auditioning people. The band almost present themselves we to you. We just had a slumber a party. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. how it was sorted. Yeah, totally. So it's just fate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So far. Yeah, we're just going with it. Oh, I see. For a second, I thought, because for a second, I thought well, I was just going to stand around venue, loitering around, looking at people to form the band. <laughs> <with>. <laughs> right. But I mean, it's, 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 it's interesting. I mean, with this, uh, have you all been in bands before? Yeah, yeah, I've been in a couple it's of times. I think we all have, yeah. It's a painful yeah. process trying to audition people, even explaining what you sound like to someone who's like, yeah, yeah, I just wonder if you want to come down for an audition. Yeah. Ter I mean, terrifyingly difficult, yeah. isn't it, mostly? Yeah, I've, I've always seemed to, whenever I do music, just find friends that I like that are good that are good at doing music, and then usually it works from there, and I'll just be like, you're my friend, so... What, what, what did it feel, uh, feel? You had a bunch of songs, I'm imagining, did you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had a few. I had a few. Came over, no laundry, <laughs> not organised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a big bag of lyrics. Yeah, I picked him yeah. up on the bus. He looked like a lost puppy dog. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> these ankle swingers on. My yeah, suitcase he's, actually he's, ripped. His suitcase broke. <laughs> right when I got to the top of the steps, it was almost like uh, the universe's way of saying, "Okay, you're going to stay here for a while." Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, he so. came along with a, a CD of his, yeah. his, of his old stuff and. Uh, what, been about a month staying, and he was like, oh, I've got this new track. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to do something with this? I listened to it. It's Forest City. Yeah. Thought it's just really good. Yeah. Could really see how it, this could sort of end up. So we just like played around with it, and you know, recorded it. It's not easy to explain the sound, though. I don't think. How would you if no. you had to say to somebody? I was oh, kind of like this. I thought you actually have come up with the best. Did you say it was like Lego? A little, bit like, Lego. Your, a little yeah. bit like Lego, yeah. yeah, loads of influences. We both obviously come from different musical 
backgrounds, I guess. Well, I think it's 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 kind of it's it's because it's because it's both twinkly. It's really twinkly yeah. and poignant at the same time. It's got a sense of optimism and melancholy yeah. about it, which seem to coexist quite well. Yeah, yes. I think it's a, a part of the, the storytelling. Mike's got a gift with yeah. you know telling you know telling a story, yeah. and that's what we want to come out. A lot, a lot of the verses have got you know a lot of that sort of meeting, and you really get a, it's a really good imagery. See, that's a, that's, ex that's exactly it. We're going to talk about Mike like he's not here now. Just forget, <laughs> just forget about us for a, for a second. But I like the way, even in something like Forest City, that um, it shades in the background. We do the landscape first and describe you know the, the sky, the moon, the city lights. We, we yeah. do this, which is the rough around the side then paint in the characters yeah, yeah. and then once you've painted in the characters you start exploring them more and once you've sort of you know described what they look like and what they're made up of you know liquid gold you then move on to smell and the smell of aftershave it's like each bit is just adding a bit of detail through the song yeah yeah it's amazing yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, well, well done you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he forgets those lyrics yeah, yeah every now and then have you, have you I mean is, did anyone um, particularly uh, influence you as a, as a lyricist um, I'd say, I think in 2003, it was maybe, I, I started listening to Postal Service a lot, and uh, I just, I, that's probably the, the most listened to album, the, the um, oh my goodness, what's his LP called? Um, Such Great Heights, that one. Mm -hmm. um, just listen to that so much, and it's one of those uh, those albums I always come back to. So, definitely Ben Gebhard just has mm -hmm. a way with, with just almost storytelling, but he's yeah. really descriptive, and... Yeah. Um, so that he's probably my my biggest uh, just like blueprint for lyrics. So I always like kind of look at think about what he's done and think, oh, I could I could do you know keep the standards up, not just kind of ramble on about something. And as you build the music, do the lyrics because they're quite obviously they create quite a lot of images and express a certain range of emotions. Does that make it easier when you're trying to translate it into song because you can layer different sounds and things, I suppose, with it. There's a certain amount of freedom. If it becomes the music, then becomes this blank canvas you can fill in. Yeah. That'd be right. Yeah, yeah. And by, and by the end, when, when we're recording it, obviously the lyrical content, a lot of, you know, the songs are, by the end of it, you get it. Mm. You're there on the, you know, in the story, as it were. Mm. And quite a few of our songs have got these really nice, like, like you say, poignant endings. Mm. And, and by the time it reaches and it, the ending breaks, yeah. and you're all there, it's like, I don't know, I feel like you know, people are ready to sing along. It's like, uh, yeah, there is. I, I got that because um, I came to um, see you when you played as a duo the other week at okay. uh, the social, the heavenly social around the corner from the buildings here. And it's it's weird as well because you strip away some of the rest of the music, and it makes there's a certain you know, sort of it brings you even closer to the certain vulnerability and the sort of natural. You know, sensitivity of some of the songs. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's almost how I started out, um, just with me and a girl basically, and I'd loop stuff on my pedals and just have a little bit of beat with some synths, and it was it was more so like a focus on the, the development of the story with with trying to put in some uh, nice melodies on it, and then, but when we've when we've put the whole band on it, it's given it I think a little more um, variety and it, it's a bit bigger sound, so. It's almost like you could strip it down and almost do it in a folky way. It kind of has that yeah. that vibe, I guess. Yeah, so, very much so. Yeah. So plans, um, single out next week. Then um, mm. what about after that? There's only two. There's only two gigs on your website. That's not. That's not good enough. Promoters of Britain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have a space on a bill. Yeah. Well, we've got the uh, obviously the, the singles coming out Monday. Yeah. This Monday, the uh, we're playing at the social. On Tuesday, uh, that's the Heavenly Social in London, just yeah, across Portland Street, Street, on about three. nine twenty, I think. And, so, uh, and there's a gig in Bristol. Is there not coming out as well? Is yeah, there a hometown? Frankie, Frankie, Frankie and the Heartstrings. With Frankie and the Heartstrings, yeah. we played earlier. Yeah, supporting Frankie and the Heartstrings. Yeah, that's a top night. Yeah, April yeah, the sixteenth, Louisiana, Bristol. Okay. Yeah, it's a good gig. Looking forward to that one. Excellent. And we just got confirmed actually. Ten minutes before we came on air, we've got a, a slot at the Great Escape. Oh right, that's uh, the Brighton one. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Brilliant. So, um, we've so, got so, it. I think we might be doing the Camden Cross. There's a few things. It's uh, basically day to day. We just kind of figure out right. what's coming in. So okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're just noticing it's really sort of starting to pick up. So I think you know, expect more gigs to come in. It's good. Well, after this, you'll be beating them off with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to get out the building after this. Well, we, we just saw the paps right. downstairs yeah. waiting for us. Yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. Uh, it's been brilliant talking to you. Thank you very much for coming on. And this is the single. If you haven't heard us playing it over the last 48 months, uh, it's Fitness Club Fiasco. <laughs> this is Forest City. Sun stains, 